Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more off-world trading company with Soren and Layla and the same group as before, except minus uh, the Solar Gamer and plus Czar Tim, who is uh, somebody we just kind of met randomly. Yeah, he's not some mysterious stranger. Yeah, he's not in the voice call, but. Funny if he ends up winning. Yeah, he probably would. <laughs> well, actually, with you playing, I highly doubt it. No, uh, Cesar is actually very good. Yeah, I imagine you're better than he is, though. No, <laughs> no, we should have told him to go exec, but... Ar Arumba needs to believe that you're better than he is, otherwise he <laughs> starts messing with his <laughs> opinions of his own. Oh, no. <laughs> is anyone else getting a slack? Uh, no, I'm all right, sir. As far as I can see. Medium levels of silicon wow. I'm not seeing much aluminium here. Aluminium. Really? I'm seeing loads. Oh, actually, I've just realized there was a ton of the map below where I was scanning that I didn't realize existed. We're on a bigger map than I thought. I was like, yeah, I've covered about all of the map now, and then I scroll out and there's this huge section in the south. Oh no, we're all screwing each other over! Oh no! <laughs> that would never happen. Oh, this is terrible. Who does that? Sorry, oh, Zari Tim! Zari Tim screwed over my, my uh, carbon play. For some reason, I'm not really miserable over this news. <laughs> Yeah, who won last time? Who won last time? Well, I'm probably going to lose because on my screen it's only you that's actually settled a colony. Oh wow, that is Everyone incredible. but you has settled. As in you, Stejo. might want to place your, place your town. Yeah. Like, dude, I, I, there's nowhere that I want to place my town, but like just I said, only you has settled. <laughs> just put it come, down. Come, come just be next to me here. <laughs> no, there's a lot of iron if you want. Oh. Oh. Robotic colony founded. Ooh, go scavenger. Northeast, go scavenger. Can you see people now, Stijo? No, it's. Oh, wait. Bentham uh, and Shen have placed their stuff. Alright, okay, there that's, you go. That's an incredible. Good Hopefully, you catch up. Scientific colony expanded. <laughs> well, that's what, I've tried to place my headquarters about three, four times now. <laughs> Your, your headquarters, headquarters is down. Yeah, if you've been founded. Your headquarters is there. Oh, oh yeah, what am I? Online. You're robotic. <laughs> You're oh, robotic. that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic, Sinjo. I loved it. What, what am I? <laughs> oh, I'm so used to playing a scientific that I yeah, keep forgetting that I have to mine the raw materials. Separate. <laughs> Why would you mine the materials? I know, it's weird, isn't it? Such a waste of claims. <laughs> I need to get a bit better with using scientific. Soren, is there uh, any information displayed as far as the connections for each player? Uh, there is a ping in the lobby, um, so you can see what, uh, what, what you're getting into. Um, but I don't think we're not showing that in game. Well, I can still scan. <laughs> That's nice. So you've just got like a five minute lag on us. Oh my. This is terrible. I can't find anywhere. Is it just, is it just DJ or is it everybody? A couple people. No, I'm just talking about like the location. Yeah, basically. that's the thing. It looks okay to me, so I don't... I'm just saying there's, there's not much I can do. <coughs> <clears throat> I mean, I see DJ stuff... No, wait. Yeah, he doesn't have. I don't see him having any claims right now. Yeah, he's uh, may as well not be in the game at the moment. At the yeah. point he's at. I'm pr I'm pretty much just like stuck. Oh oh, Avax just founded his scientific <laughs> colony. Wow. We'll be glad to know that Avax does have a scientific colony. Yes yes. <laughs> at least <laughs> what you're seeing is actually what happened. It's just, like just a little bit message from the future or something. To the highest bidder. Two. Oh. Three, no, not a mutiny. Five, Why? Four, <laughs> thousand, I need six, that power. Thousand, seven, don't lie, you don't even have any power. Nine, well, I don't now. Thousand, I'm completely messing up because I'm entirely. Fi I'm setting up glass production and then realizing that I don't have any of the things you need for it. Yeah, this is a very scavenger map. The other interesting thing is it's got dry ice, so you can actually use dry ice condenser to get yourself carbon and oxygen and stuff. I have never once made one of those things. No, Me neither. Not bad. 
The nice thing about them is you can you know you can build triple holes and quadruple holes wherever you want, right? Because there's plenty of the ice. Whereas you know you're otherwise kind of limited in how much um, you know how much you can get from uh, from the carbons if they're not in a triangle. Skiffinger colony found it. Colony. <laughs> colony. Colony. Oh no. The thing is, I'm used if to playing a lower difficulty, and pirates. where I get four I claims instead of three, so them. my whole plan that I usually have is completely collapsed. Yeah. When you when you purchase a building or whatever, and you don't have enough resources, it buys them off the market at the current market price. Yeah. Yep. So if you sell whatever resources you have, and then you buy it, does the building become cheaper? No, it's exact. It's just an interface convenience. It doesn't really affect, make any difference in terms of. Uh, but the price does <laughs> drop, doesn't it? So maybe it would. No, it factors that into it. Like it actually does a look ahead to see how much it'll drop. Whoever hit my medium water, that was not nice. That wasn't me. <laughs> of course it wasn't. Someone's got a power monopoly. Ah, oh, no. That's more or less how we all feel about it as well. Okay, who's buying me? A Roomba? What? You're cheap. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you, have, you have definitely want to... Uh... Wait, what are you saying about my wife? <laughs> oh, I'm, saying, I'm saying she's inexpensive. <laughs> There's a difference. Market prices. I love this group. You guys are so much fun. <laughs> <coughs> wow, what's really cheap? The colony expanded. You has bought 1,000 shares of used stock. Yeah. <laughs> that just makes so much sense. <laughs> Clearly, there's some issues with grammar in the text here. Yeah, Arimba, I don't think I'll be getting slant drilling and teleportation in this game. No, are you not not doing as well this time? Nah, not quite. No. Um, yeah. I really like the the net revenue on the tooltip. I'd actually request that uh, did you make it possible so that the tooltip you can control the tooltip delay? Like I'd like the, the tooltip to be instantaneous. Like you put the mouse over the building and it just pops right up. Yeah, I don't know what does that. Um, probably, Instead of sure, yeah, yeah, I'm sure we can probably figure something out for that. So one second delay is. I look at all. A while, yeah. I thought it was doing really well in that bidding there. I, I almost had it with one second to go. Avac bids, and then the whole it triples in price. Twenty uh, k. I didn't even want it. it. I just wanted to snipe. He's got it. Well, my instincts just came in. Two hundred times two hundred. The the darn thing. It almost powers worth one hundred eighty two. It gives you two hundred power. It's worth forty grand right there. That's true. <laughs> so thanks for the free twenty grand. Uh huh. So are you guys getting the? Oh no, no mind. There was just a um, auction for some pirates there, and it went over in about three seconds, and someone paid ten grand for it. No, there was no pirates. Did, okay, I think pirates got auctioned a while back, maybe. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just like synced to a different he game or something? Fell into a wormhole or something. Or... <laughs> getting, I know, right? He's getting all of our data way too late. This is uh, the game's actually trolling me for April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's decided to, to, to give you the latency yeah. of someone who is actually oh, yeah, yeah. on Mars. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I just built him Leo a deal. was in a total death spiral. Yeah, I know. I actually Thank lost, you. lost the money I invested in Layla, I think. I uh -huh. appreciate you investing in that geothermal for me. He wow. invested, he invested the in me. He in a pretty good position. He invested in me and then he <laughs> lost the money because I just spiraled down. That's what happened. See, that's what I think should happen, but the last few games you've gotten away with going way, way in debt. Let me speak. Oh, nice move. Everybody, you have a geo, and you need to protect it. Careful there, Soren. He said protected his wind turbine. Well, I mean, now he's my new master. I need to protect my. Especially with two tiles. <laughs> he owns me. <laughs> he no, but... This conversation is escalating rather quickly. Oh, what's Zar Tim doing? Oh. Zar Tim is is not on exec. No. No. And he's he's making I'm over. So you just he's, need to go and he's eating you so fast. Yes he is. I remember make sure you protect the geo. What geo? I don't I, I, no I have a geotherm, you bought me, so you own the geotherm. 
I'm, I'm, you're telling people things you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. I approve. Well, I had it protected, but you don't inherit that. I don't. I don't like how my color is not blue. I thought that you were always the same color from your perspective. Oh, no, I'm purple. Different. That's pink, but I'm purple now. <laughs> I'm in a different color. I'm in a different color like every game. It looks pink to me. The color is purple. It's lightish red. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. That's we, it. we actually have a red color. Oh, wait, was that Layla was? Were you red? Yeah, yes. Layla was red. Or rather, Layla is still red. Oh, in your world? Yeah, we could ask you. If only we could ask, the, we could ask the past. <laughs> some cheap geo. I can't even bid because other people keep bidding. There we go. Oh, man. I have two solar panels, both of which are mutinied, and then they got frozen. Twelve. Curse you. Thousand. Fourteen. <laughs> oh, Thousand. you win this time again. Ha 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 ha. Well, let's see. Cesar, Tim doesn't have a lot of cash, and he doesn't have any debts either. I keep buying silicon and it completely ignoring the fact that it's worth nearly as much as glass, and you make one glass from two silicon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so so glass needs to be double the price of silicon for it to make any sense. Probably well, more than that. Yeah, more because of oxygen. In, yeah, I'm gonna in my with. world, I've got a triple stack of silicon. <laughs> <laughs> Is the one in our world? I hope so. Um, it's in the northeast. Oh yeah, I think you're on it. Yeah. Yeah, you're there. You own it. <laughs> I've got like 15k debt. Well, I've got twice that. Shen, yeah, never mind. You noticed. Oh, you just got bought out. Yes, I just wow. got bought out. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I get amazing. it. Can you say you again? You. <laughs> you. You. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I love how the captain's suddenly panicking, selling all the stock he bought in. <laughs> well, I'm in a tough spot with uh, Caesar. Caesar Tim, yeah. I'm the uh, I'm the underdog. I'm actually going to come back and win this. <laughs> what what stage are you in your game? Because you're stage one in ours. Let this be a lesson. Oh to yeah, dude. Like everything us. that I collect takes about five minutes to actually register. Have you been told how much um, a rumba owns you yet? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't oh, realize no. you were still lagging. I've been buying your stock. <laughs> oh, no. No idea. I, you have I'm no clue? I've so Avak has just built a patent lab. You're basically playing by mail. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> well, here comes your check in the mail. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Like a, like I think Bentham said, um, I'm actually, me, I've actually got the latency as if I was on Mars. <laughs> Let me know how long it is till you actually get bought out. Yeah, we'll do. <clears throat> right now, I'm a, I'm a freaking silicon powerhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Your stock is being bought. Well, my, I'm the next target of a rumba then. Oh, whoa. His are is buying Swarm. Is Someone bought. needs to buy Swarm. Yeah, I'm gonna get bought by Sorry, Tim. Very soon. I, I hope Arunda buys you and uh, doesn't give you two. Uh, just Cesar. <coughs> Why is the stock so low? What did you do there? Why did what? You're at four, but yeah, I just hold on. I just I got some shit. I don't even have any. My someone's gone out of the way to mute me. My two solar panels. They used to be carbon quarries. They just been crazy for that. Nope. Avak just won an auction for 14 grand, but I didn't get to see what it was. Currently oh, he's winning auction. one for 28 grand. It looks like when we have an auction, you're like exactly a day behind. Because when we have an auction, you have an auction from the day before. Yeah, yeah except hey, my auctions are like instant. Hey, Avak, all that debt you just took on sure is tanking your stock price. Yeah, I know, seriously. I knew that was going to happen. I wish I could buy you out and actually take your technology, but... Alas, no. <laughs> oh, Shen just built a pleasure dome. It's kind of a spiteful thing to do. I'm <laughs> buying as many patents as I can so no one else can have them at this point. 
I am so horrifically doomed. Oh, Ooh, there well. we go. Being I'm just starting to put it up. Oh, AVAC. There we go. Hey, just, it, it was going to happen. Yeah, I know. Look what so, uh, all the things. Well, I, I was the first one to get butt off. The Rumba's back to his normal form. Your yep. stock is being bought. Yeah, well, here I go. Ready. I've got about ten <laughs> seconds to live. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Steve has been a massive thorn in the room beside him most of the games. Arumba, you better buy. Well, actually, no, you're gonna win. Your stock. I was gonna say you should buy a little bit of your own stock, considering how much you have with other people. Well, never mind. I think it's thirty thousand right. actually. Goodbye, oh, cruel world. Are we definitely go for? Well, I guess you're not going to spend Nice. Oh, no, wow. Arumba's buying oh, all of my stock now. It's fine. Focus, I, focus no. on Cesar. Uh, I'm just so I bought bad you at a long game. time ago. 59%. See, Joe, you've been out of the game for a long time. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you, you, oh. you told me to remind you when, like, it actually happened. <laughs> ah, right, right. It's like the whole screen is turning pink. <laughs> <laughs> Purple. That's right, I'm not, uh, I keep forgetting it's I'm blue. not scientific. It's blue. Definitely blue by my eyes. <laughs> Gold. Oh, that's interesting. The colonies actually, I didn't even know this, they, they, they retained their original color. It's just the outline that changes. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was wondering how I would be able to tell which was Arumba's original colony, but now I can. Yeah. It's covered in pink. That's <laughs> <laughs> lavish red. <laughs> Almost there. <coughs> so you guys, have you ever tried with patents? Have you tried to um, kind of figure out the patents at all? Well, I've never built a patent thing, but I've bidded for a lot of them in games. Yeah, I, I love the patents, they're awesome. Which one oh, is yeah, your so favorite? Do I. I like the uh, science <laughs> drilling. Yeah, science drilling is amazing, especially when you play scientific. It's so good. The water ones are fun I for just ruining like everything. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, the cold fusion. Yeah, we'll eventually yeah. have a way to like turn them on and off, depending upon the situation. But yeah, they, they can kill you. Yeah. The one that the high players really love is it's a bit of a surprise is nanotech. I like nanotech. Uh, really? Yeah. Because yeah. they're, they're constantly switching around their production. Yeah, because mm. you just kind of like shorting, figuring out the market, and then you decide like to build up. You know what? That is something I've not even considered really doing. Once I've locked on to production, producing right. something, I don't even move. But that yeah. makes all sorts of crazy sense. Yeah, you have and If to, you've got that, you can just reset your production yeah. straight away because it costs nothing. I mean, it's not just that there's times when your production is not optimal. Like, there could be times when. Um, you could be losing money. Your billions could be losing you money. Like you'd be better off blowing them up. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, leaving them there. Like if water is water costs more than food, you know, your farms are just chewing through money for you. Uh, thanks for the uh, three billion. I remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. You just finally finally bit the bucket, huh? Yep, that's it. I shall now observe from the past. <laughs> you didn't buy the company for that much. Yeah, we get a three billion payout. Yeah. Another thing I do is um, I build power right next to my colonies just so I can repurpose the tiles later on. Ah. Wow. Zarkin yeah. has 120,000 of debt. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you might want to try to buy, buy Tim if you can before he pays off his debt. Yeah. Meanwhile, you think he's, he's going to get me? Well, you're in a good position, obviously, but he's, he's the one threat. Really. I have 200. I'm just going to buy him out. Yeah, just buy him out. Okay. Wow. What were you waiting for? <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I've been trying to avoid using the control shift down because you've been saying it's dangerous. Yeah. Well, there's there's oh, a point I mean, in the game point. where, you know, yeah. yeah. I think it's anybody's but, game right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. But then I was looking at it and it's like, I've got all this money, so what all these possibly resources. What could go wrong? <laughs> how, do you, how do you talk? How did Sardim say GG? Well, oh, you just press oh. enter? Yeah, you enter, you press right. enter and Nobody right. reached level 5 in that game. Didn't need to. No, yeah, yeah. no point. That's weird to me oh, because my, my main aim is always to get to level 5 as fast as possible so that I just have the most claims to work well, with. Well, that's the thing. I, is if, you, if you've got nothing to do with it, why? it doesn't really help you, it seems. I mean, if, if you can sit around at level 2 or level 3 and keep purchasing stock, why not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. a weird, weird game. I guess there really wasn't much... The problem is there wasn't enough water on the map. Because yeah. If you look at the food, oxygen, fuel prices, it looks crazy. I don't know. You had a ton of water. Yeah, there was a ton right in that middle area, but mm, I think some people were not necessarily committing as much as they needed to to making food because that price really got out of control. 
Well, it was odd because I couldn't do anything. The iron was so spread out. Mm -hmm. So I had one steel mill here and another there. As soon as I upgraded, I just went into steel mills again mm -hmm. because I just mm -hmm. needed, I didn't have the adjacency bonus. Right. So I had to commit uh, one course, more yeah. tile, yeah, one more mm -hmm. tile to at least making steel. And you can also see that Ruben made 170 grand off of power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was. That well, was the time where you tried to EMP or whatever power surge my two twin, two turbines. I knew I love <laughs> using solar panels and turbines because they usually don't get targeted, not like geothermals. Yep. And so they're usually safe. But if you put two next to each other, they make a lot of power. They oh, yeah. 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 They're yeah. very valuable. And I also gave you a geo. Yeah, so I know. I only geo. Yeah, I was either gonna buy you out or I was I had my mouse on the detonate. I was ready to blow it up as soon as it finished. I had it, I had a goon squad. But yep. Yeah, I, I decided to buy out instead. Yeah, I was really surprised, to say the least, you had a goon squad on that winter. Um, but uh, sometimes it makes sense to put the goon squads where people don't expect it. Well, the power was like 15, what, 150 uh, per yeah. unit. Yeah, yeah. And the goon squad, I think, I only paid like 1,500 or 2,000. It was one of the first ones. Yep, yep. So it's like, might as well. I mean, even if I it's. I do just... like the way that the, um, the black market stuff gets more expensive as more people buy it. That yep. really, I think. Yeah. creates a sort of tension and pace to the game, especially yeah. late game. It makes visible what people are buying also. Like, as soon as you see the Mutant Mute price go up or the Goon Squad price go up, you know, you know now. Um, like, if you, see the Goon, if you see the Goon Squad price stays at the original price, then you know you can Mutant Seat me someone without worrying about it, right? I hadn't even thought of that, but yeah. So, uh, quick question. <laughs> Who won? <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get one yes. That's awesome. <laughs> I think it was a Roomba. <laughs> Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It was a little bit unfair for me to buy out Steve Joe's second, but I was just happy that it worked the way I expected it would. Like you, Leila, you always go so far in debt that I just yeah. had to buy you out. Like your stock price should be worth nothing. Yep, and uh -huh. you went down to like a buck a share. Yes. Game I, crashed. I was just, honestly, I was just losing on the fact that I was trying to, uh, <laughs> to collect steel, basically, to, to upgrade. And yeah. uh, I, there were no two steel uh, together, two tiles together. Yeah. There's going to be a new feature in the next update where you actually, if someone's stock price gets totally out of control, you can actually buy them out without all their stock being purchased. Like if you hold down shift, you can basically click to like force a buyout on all the shares that are owned and the shares that are not owned. So if someone spirals down to a dollar, as long as you've got like 20 grand, you can buy them out instantaneously. But that's not fair because then, you know, they can buy their debt meanwhile, they can buy up their well, shares. Well, it's, it's certainly fair to them. They shouldn't have let themselves drop down to a dollar. Uh, the issue was that that has happened in games and then it's kind of like this race to this question of who's the first, who's the person that's able to hit the buy button before everyone else, right? Like, if someone's yeah. stock price drops fast enough, there's probably multiple people who can buy them out. So now, if you do it at once, it should go to the person who has the most cash, which is what, yeah, as it should be, if they're if they're paying attention. But the problem is the way it is right now. It <laughs> can go to the person who waits yep, exactly. until the tenth, the ninth share is sold, and then they just buy the tenth share. Yeah. And then it's silly. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So that'll just let it go up for auction. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't seen that as much. I saw that a lot the first week, but now the people, you know, have their legs under them. They mostly know how to avoid animal spirals like that. Well, I gotta say, Evan, having the um, I uh, this was one of the things that was interesting to me about this specific game is that the <laughs> um, you remember how you said food prices went crazy? Right. I built a farm as like one of my first claims, and I just turned it off, and I never turned it back on, and it, like it never made sense to make food, even though food was really expensive, and it was surprising. Yep. Why is that? Like like the, I had a, a double water stack pump that was making the water, and then right next mm. to that I had the farm, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I'll just pump the water and make the food. Food's almost always good to make. But when you hover over the, the actual building, it says, like, ne total net profit, negative 20. And it's like, yep. well, all right, screw that. Not going to run it. There's yep. no point. It was a combination of water being about half the value of food at first and power being really expensive. Yep. I think that the, the building oh, nice. takes power to run, right? Like 0.1? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 0.2, maybe? Yep, that's right. Yeah, it takes 0.2. And when you factor in the power, it's like, there's just no reason to run it. You'd be I, better hadn't, off. I hadn't factored in even looking for that kind of information, much less knowing where to find it. But that's actually really, really useful. How, but that's, how tough that's, would it be to add like a map mode where you could see the profitability of your buildings? Right. So you could just see at a glance, like, oh, that one's red. Maybe I should take a look at why it's not profitable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could see maybe having something you could hold down the Alt key or something that would show that. Like, um, 
it's weird. It, it gets to this level of design. Some people suggest that, like, well, if my buildings turn negative, I would like them just automatically shut off. And uh, so it's like there's all sorts of things you could do that, like, kind of head down the road of, like, the game essentially playing itself for you. Yeah, I was about to say, it you know, gets a little so, bit too close to the game just doing it all. Right. And, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to figure out what's the right sweet spot where it gives you, gives you help, but it doesn't. you still have to make the right decisions. You could maybe attach that to a difficulty settings so if someone's got a super low difficulty like applicant then it will automatically shut off mm. yeah that could that could work eventually well i i like the idea of, of information being made readily available to me yeah but information any good. any kind of decision right. being mine to make or not make mm. but, you know accidentally ignore or whatever but general information like the profitability yeah you know an alt key down and you can have like a, a traffic like system where it just puts a uh, a transparent like overlay over the map and the tile will color more green if it's good more amber if it's kind of neutral more red if it's actually negatively impacting <laughs> your, your profit Right. Yeah, I like I like having information at my fingertips. I think that's yeah. that's really useful for multiplayer game is just having access to information that'll help you play the game. Mm. Yeah, as mm -hmm. Paradox like players were kind of spoiled for the amount of information that we get. Mm. Yeah. Sure, we yeah. like we like tooltips. Twenty eight yeah. map modes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not even kidding. And there's not enough. <laughs> there needs to be more. Right. Yeah, but, um, um, so I had one other thought. I'm just trying to remember now what it was. Um. Um, I have Don't a question. Who, who hosted the last uh, game? Because that might be the reason for it. It ended up being Zartim. So, Zartim, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who knows where he is exactly. If you guys are going to keep playing, should I host? Or should. Uh, yeah, one of us should probably host. That makes sense. Okay. Well, yeah, let's wrap up the video and we'll <laughs> see about maybe recording another. Okay. Okay, well, thanks for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube land, we'll see you again soon. See you soon. Goodbye. Okay. Bye.